Good Thursday evening, everybody, and welcome back. I was about to say Team Fight Tactics because that's the only thing I tend to play these days, and that's not true. Despite how much Team Fight Tactics actually gets uploaded to the channel, that's not the case. I literally play that on my streams only these days, and that's not for me to say, you know, Team Fight Tactics is dead to me. It's just, I just want to play it in burst. Don't want to burn out on it. Tease it in, you know? Just like Slay Aspire, which, you know, we're not even teasing and we're just actually neglecting. So, apologies already. Here you go. Uh, get your bingo chart out. Tim apologizes. I didn't do a video yesterday. Why didn't you do a video yesterday? I watched the Nintendo Direct, which, by the way, we're going to get into that. Fucking hilarious. And I loved it. Um, it doesn't feel like it. I ended up, like, just sort of fucking off with my friends for a few hours. I'm like, oh, shit, I didn't stream or record yesterday. And I'm like, yeah, you know what? That's fine. Came home from work today. I'm feeling pretty good despite like the anxiety I went into the day with the office where it's like, hey, you've been gone for like most of the week and then like your desk's on fire. Then I actually put out most of the fire. I'm proud of myself. But yesterday was a good day. The Nintendo Direct was hilarious. Two miles, boys. I've done it. Two miles in my 35 minute ish run and or jog, depending on how you want to look at it. Don't add me. Upgrade a card, 100 gold, 21 damage to remove two cards. Lose your starting relic for a random bot. No, no, just give me a gold. Uh, well, a card. And by that I mean upgrade. And, yeah, okay, so we... We'll do, like, um... Uh, you know, give me a, an upgraded dual cast. I ever get, like, you know, best practices for this thing? I'm too busy doing best practices at work to remember how to do best practices in my video game here. That's a sad reality. Okay. Uh, floor layout. It's abysmal. So you got a flamer right here. Which is also on the best path possible. So, we're going to throw caution to the wind. Is that... Hang on. Immediately we're doing the, you know, check out, check out another bingo piece. Throw caution... It is throw caution into the wind. I don't know. You never know with these idioms. Could you do something about worrying about the risk of a negative result? Yes, thank you, English. We're just going to go get him. Tagger. <laughs> Tagger? Tiger? Whatever you want to say. Anyway, today. How was today? Today was... It started off pretty bad, and I, I've come to realize I... <clears throat> Could have killed this guy. Um, come to realize I definitely blow things out of proportion as far as like how much work and or like stress I put on myself when like the reality is if I just take the time to think about some things, it could get done a lot easier. Uh, data dump, deal nine damage. Put one card from your draw pile into your discard pile. I kind of like that for a lot of reasons. Uh, Thel. Cost one less energy for each unspent energy at the end of your turn. Deal 30 damage, this card's cost. So that this card's cost of four this combat, okay. My brain's saying, like, this is good. I'm going to just take a hologram because it's something I do know. I call it there. But yeah, I, you know, I definitely realize I, uh... I don't exaggerate. It's not the word. I don't exaggerate. Like, my job is very stressful. And this is not, like, you know, a humble, oh, look how hard my work is sort of thing. Because anyone who brags about that, like, you need to find better hobbies. Let's be real. It's more just, like, I put so much pressure on myself to, uh, like, be the very best. And it's sometimes it's like, yeah, you know, you just got to acknowledge. You just take things in stride, maybe you'll get everything done that you need. And that's exactly what happened today. It also helps that I've been put back on a desk that I'm very proficient at for the time being, for various reasons. Um, it also doubles down that I didn't get home till like six o'clock here because I was working like two and a half hours of overtime. Willingly, by the by. Uh, it's grilling in my pocket. For Borderlands, mostly. Uh, disconnect, it's the dinosaur. Deal five damage and apply one week to all enemies. Can I upgrade to, nope. Return null, deal 26 damage, remove your next orb, wow. Ron Scheibel, Ron Schibel, three burns to your hand at the start of your turn, channel two. I don't, I don't like a lot of this. A lot of this is uh, too spooky for me. This is, is a bit spooky. I don't know. Weak to all enemies is kind of cool, not gonna lie. Just wish it was kind of free. You know what? Fuck it. Let's keep the deck as thin as possible and then realize I have an elite fight here and I have no actual source of damage, so I might be boned? We'll see. Uh, wow. Some pretty good luck there. But overall, if we're gonna talk about, like, work, today was fine. I got a lot done, and also because I stayed extremely late. Went to lunch with my coworker that I hadn't seen this week because I've been gone all week. I had a good time there as well. Just overall, a pretty solid day and, like, the overtime actually didn't bother me in the slightest, minus some of the things I discovered while working set overtime, I'm like, how does how does this happen? <laughs> like, I discovered some things, I'm like, do we not know how to use a fax function in this office? Apparently, for some individuals, no. And this is not me, like, trying to be a dick. It's just like, okay, we need some, like, some training here. It's not an embarrassing statement. There's a lot of tech things in, like, you know, a business facility. Anyone from like, an outside perspective, if you're younger or not, 
And you hear someone complain about a work environment, and like someone says something like, Oh, they don't use like a fax function, right? Fax function, not a fax machine, two different things. Um... You'd be like, oh, how, how does someone get hired? They don't use a fax machine. It's like, no, you're you're construing the point. And like, again, until you're actually in an office environment, you realize how abysmal like tech relations can be. Wow, talk about abysmal hands as well. Uh, you recognize like, yeah, okay, yeah. If someone doesn't use a tech piece right, it's probably like poorly taught. The amount of features I have at work of Zara's like um tech I could use for my job. How many of them I know? Not a lot of them, because, you know, it's sort of like a feature that gets implemented and then you don't really know about it till down the line. Someone's like, what, you don't know about this? It's like, no, I don't. We never really went over it. It's like, yeah, we did. We had a tech meeting. It's like, does this count? You know, the the, the hour-ish that I'm... I, arguably, I fall asleep at those meetings and I feel really bad and, you know, everyone actually judges me for it. And it's a bad thing. Don't fall asleep at business meetings, guys. But, like, that's... It's so hard. Like, I always fall asleep at these meetings and people look at me like, are you okay? I'm like... I ain't tired. It's I don't, I've never fall I've never fallen asleep in a meeting because I'm tired. Same for classes. I've never fallen asleep in a class because I'm tired. Because like in, in college, four to five hours of sleep is a goddamn blessing, uh, which was the average I got. I fall asleep in class and at work meetings because I'm fucking bored. <laughs> I'm just sitting there like taking it in. And I'm like, oh Jesus, I'm doing the church bob, and all of a sudden he's out. Let's go ahead and get uh, a Rip and Tear for the moment. It's not good. Don't don't let anyone tell you Rip and Tear is a good card. If someone tries to convince you it's a good card, they have a, a deeper problem there. It's just here to hold us over. Um, yeah. Narcolepsy aside... Where was I going with this? I, I was talking about something. Let's forget about it. It was a fine day. I was glad to come back, and tomorrow's already Friday, so I've already bounced back in another weekend. I'm going to be home again this Friday, because my best friend's going to be busy, so we won't be able to hang out, so I'll be hanging out with you guys. Hey. Uh, we should go for the 10-piece block here. Wait a minute. Or we can just go for the KO. I'm a goddamn genius thanks to the attack potion. So I'll be back on Friday. I intend to stream. I intend to do a lot of things. Like, there's a lot of things floating in my head. A part of me actually, like, the itch to play Classic WoW is actually really strong right now, but, like, I am still holding up because, like, what server do you want to play on? I want to play on this one. What's the wait time? Six hours. Eh! Maybe give it some more time and let the hype die down further, and we'll discuss that option later. But ultimately, I don't want to play Classic WoW, thanks for the marbles, even though I'm going for a lightning build. Because, like, Borderlands is right around the corner, and it's like, you don't have to play the way I want to play WoW. Like, I don't, you don't have to play to an extent that's, like, religious, where it's like, this is everything you do. It's like, I'm a, I'm a fucking casual dude. I have a job, and I have friends, and I have a family. It's like, I don't got time to grind this goddamn fucking game for a pair of goddamn leather pants out of a fucking dinosaur that died 1600 years ago. 16 million years ago. It's like, it's too much effort, you know. And a part of this is like, you know, I, I kind of blame Twitch culture to an extent for like how people view WoW, because it's like, if you're not going for like world first hardcore or anything, it's like, why are you even here? And to an extent, that's not true at all. Let's just throw that on the table. But like, when you're like a YouTuber or a Twitch streamer, you have a lot of influence on people. So when young impressionable adults see you playing a video game for 48 hours straight and not sleeping, it, it, you know, it does something to you. Now, is this to say, Tim, did you ever play video games for, like, you know, hours on hours on end and not sleep? When I was younger, yes. Like, maybe once, and then after I did it once, my body felt like it was going to give out, and I never did it again. Even though I wanted to. The other night's like, dude, I want to play more of this game, but, like, I'm- my body hates me, so I'm going to bed. Uh, Char- Shore Blot? Sure. Pawn pickup, remove a card from your deck and choose one of the 25 cards and choose one of 25 cards to add into your deck. Wait, hang on, hang on. Reading is hard. A pawn pickup. Remove a card from your, your deck. Okay, check. And choose one of 25 upgrades to add into your deck. Okay, we'll remove a basic strike. Mmm, now it makes sense. I'm, I'm more of a seer rather than a doer, you see? Thunderstrike Plus is actually what we really want for this current deck, so yes, thank you. Can only be played if you have three or less orb slots. Gain one orb slot. That is... Amazing. I like Leap, but that is a freebie right there, if I've ever seen one. And we're gonna push our luck. You have five or less orb slots. That's so good. We don't really- it's not about the orb slots right now, this is more about just surviving at this point. So, uh, something like Go For The Eyes is actually pretty good against Hexabud here. You just gotta make sure we're hitting him on a turn that matters, so don't draw it on the opener is pretty much what that means. Um... I will grab a weakness potion just to ensure we can get through this fight. That's like a that's like a pseudo investment right now just for the immediate future. So here you go, here you go. You go ball of light. No, hang on, do it like this. Roast them, toast them, ghost them. 
the Prostum. Okay, cool. And we got a potion refund. Another compressor? No, I think we just need defense here. We have the Lightning Lord deck online, so we can actually carry it from here. Dude, me and Defect are on the same wavelength. I've missed this guy. Even though I, like, you know, I played him, like, one in every three rotations, but that's besides the point. So you, you're just gonna go ahead and get one of these. I'm gonna go ahead and prep that, get that on the table, do one of these. I'm just gonna ensure we can get through this easy-peasy, and... I've made a very poor decision with some of my cards, but that's okay. Very good opener. 30 damage, not what I want to see. Thank you for the compressor. Do you weaken here? I don't think we actually have to worry about this. We've already got him on the ropes. Even though, like, we barely cracked the surface of damage, we've got him on the ropes. So check it out. Can't play Thunderstrike. Shit. <laughs> Go for the eyes. Stack gives us everything we need. Here's what you're gonna do. You're paid for it. Charge battery, hologram. Let's go ahead and squeeze out another one of these bad boys here. Another piece of lightning on the table. We get the defense, we get the passive damage, we take no damage, we get some birds in our deck, we can't let the fight go on too long because the burns will beat us long term. That's okay, the, the play to four play did not work, I was hoping to get my uh, chain lighting there or whatever it's called. Okay, go for the eyes is coming up, clutch on the turns that matter the most, compressor is absolutely useless right now. But we're already at max orb, that's like 12 additional damage because I did the children's math. It is super. Fight's going fine. We're going to win this pretty easily. We're not talking about the Nintendo Direct. So what did the Nintendo Direct announce? So first off, if you follow me on Twitter, I'm not, this is not a promote, but like I've actually, I tweeted a few things in like one meme that got a whole six retweets, so I felt like someone important on the internet today, or yesterday. Um, the Switch gets everything. The Switch has literally gotten every single game I could imagine at this point. So Overwatch is coming to the Switch. Wow. Divinity Original Sin 2 is coming to the Switch. Wow. Fucking Witcher is coming to the Switch. Doom, the original Doom is coming. This is a family console. They're, these are not games I was expecting, but somehow everything, mine is like, what, like, you know, Halo or fucking Twisted Metal, <laughs> is coming to the Switch. It's insane. It's, it's really cool, because, like, the Switch has to be, like, the go-to console if you want a console, you know, in general, because it has, it has the indie games. It's got some, you know, third-party stuff. It's got some ports. It's got a Nintendo original library as well. It's got a lot of good stuff. They announced the Super Nintendo Virtual System. They're selling a goddamn SNES controller. Like, a Nintendo's making Skrilla. It's, it's so good. And they also have Smash, so, like, Smash sort of carries a lot of things as well. Um, you know what? I actually didn't check... Because of the Nintendo Direct, I've been following the Blizzard stock, as I mentioned. Not something I buy, I'm just sort of, like, watching the trend from, like, Classic WoW and, like, uh, anything else. Because Blizzard announced Overwatch on the Switch, the stock shot up again. And it's kind of crazy, like, I think Blizzard's at an all-time high for the year, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Nintendo stock price. Wait, why, how, why did it go down? <laughs> Wait a minute. The Direct was yesterday. Wait, no. Why did it go down? I mean, if we're looking at, like, just the long-term trend, like, Nintendo... So, uh, wow, they were fucking banging in 2008. I don't know if this is a stock I'll ever invest in. Because, again, investing gives me anxiety. With the amount of phone calls I get these days. Huh. This is a very... volatile stock. It's interesting. Because I think Nintendo's actually killing it. Like, you know, I'm not about to do the console war here. Like, mm, this console's actually the best for X, Y, Z reasons. It's like, mm, well, you... If you don't like Microsoft, why would you even use a computer? Why don't you just go buy an Apple? It's like, okay, this is a little bit much. Sony also doesn't want to play with anyone. Anyway, I'm not trying to pick the fight here. This is more of a meme thing, but they're killing it. Like, I think Nintendo's actually killing it. It still has its, like, problems, apparently. Like, I don't know. You can ask like, any, like, YouTuber, Twitch streamer, or someone with a Twitter account. They'll probably be like, Nintendo sucks. For these reasons, they can make a good game. It's like, I, I see, fellow Twitter user and or video game player. What have you done lately? It's like, mm, well, I've made an angry post about why I didn't like the newest Yoshi game. Which, to be fair, I heard it wasn't that good. Uh, we're looking for a path here. I think the right path. Like, right, it's boring, but like, it is safe. But again, I'm doing like these jabs into the ether at nobody in particular because I don't know anybody of like merit or value to try and punch down on to make a joke at work. So it's mostly just me like making a bit right now. <clears throat> Oh yeah, we were talking about Smash. So there's a lot of like memes surrounding Smash and a lot of like leaks, 4chan, Dark Chan, Neon Chan, Oni Chan. Like there's a lot of like Chan websites out there. 
or like your your smash spoilers or releases or whatever something like that i don't really follow most of them but like one of the big ones that was like supposedly gonna come out was like oh shit diva's gonna be in smash and i'm like i actually doubt it and it's funny because they open up the nintendo direct conference with the overwatch announcement and all you hear is diva piloting in or whatever and i'm like <laughs> good one nintendo they announced the uh, new fighter that's going to be added to the Smash roster. It's from like some. It's from SNK Corporation. It's like some. I, it's like fighter character I've never heard of before. His name's Terry. Um, if I'm spoiling this to you, I'm sorry. Like, I don't know what to tell you. Um, I don't know who Terry is. I've never played on the Neo Geo or like a Sega Genesis or whatever game he's from. So that was cool. And then they were announcing like a bunch of like other things. You know, ban they gave a tech demo for Banjo Kazooie, which is great. That character looks like a lot of fun. It's a character from my childhood. Maybe a lot of you have that same memory of playing Banjo Kazooie. Kuzui? Banjo Tui, whatever the games are. Neon Flight. In four block and draw one card for each orb unique orb you have. Not that great. This is actually pretty good. I would like that though. Um At the start of each combat, the enemy with the most HP loses eight strength this turn. You know what? Do it to me. I like that a lot. I like it a lot. Um but yeah, back to the Smash conversation. So like, they were, they were doing stuff, like, you know, it was just like a standard Smash, like, announcement. It's like, oh, that's good. It didn't consume the entire event, so it, it wasn't, like, just only Smash. They showed a lot of very cool stuff coming to Switch. Like, there's, like, a Damon X Machina. I'm a fan of mech games. I really didn't get to play a lot of them growing up just because they were so out of my wheelhouse, and my dad bought me Halo, and that was it. And this is not a complaint. Thanks for the Halo, Dad. Um, you get enough block like this. Go like this. That. Hologram. Charge battery. Good to go. But yeah, and then they like announced that apparently there's like a fighter pass for Smash right now, and this is the last fighter for the fighter pass, and they're like, oh, I can't believe it. Is this actually going to be the last one? And then they're like, we're happy to announce there's more fighters being in development for Smash. And I'm like, ah, oh, I'm so surprised. This is me not trying to be like just a contrarian, because I'm like, of course they're going to make more characters. Like, that shit's fucking printing money. Like, every, every game company probably wants to try and get their character in there, even though they're probably going to like fight tooth and nail to, you know, squeeze as much money out of it. Mmm, <clears throat> Konami. <clears throat> Uh, Microsoft. But the fact that some of these characters in the game, it's cool. It's like a, a pop culture thing to have your character in Smash at this point, I feel. And we've also replaced all of our strikes with lightning orbs, it feels like, which is P good. So yeah, we're gonna have more like uh, characters that are getting announced for Smash. And then they, they, they mentioned some software updates. The Me Fighter, this is important. The Me Fighter was announced to be getting what is it, reworked essentially, or like a software update so you can uh make a different type of, like, meat fighter and, like, it works differently and, like, you can actually change the movesets up. And then they announced, like, micro DLC characters. So the meat fighter can get, you know, it's got, like, a blade, a gun, and magic, I think. So you got your Triforce going on there. Uh, hold up. Yeah, good enough. So they were, they were essentially, like, doing, like, 75 cents, like, reskins with, like, movesets for the meat fighter. And it was pretty cool. So you saw stuff like, uh, oop, I have an invitation for games. After I am done recording, smile. So they were showing like various like uh, you know clones more or less. So there was like um there was like a Mega Man clone for like a, a different type of Mega Man for Mega Man X. So you had uh, Zero, you had uh, Proto Man, and you had like the the Rocket Grunts from Pokemon. And I kind of looked away at this point. I'm like, oh, this is cool. It's nothing that's gonna really like you know, go wow me. And as I look away, then I hear all of a sudden, and this character was like, potentially like, announced or spoiled, because one individual by the name of uh, Toby Fox was said to be in Japan for some reason. And you know, they, the screen goes like a little bit black, and all of a sudden you hear, doo -doo 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 -doo, boo -boo -boo -boo, and it's like, oh look, there it is! Sans is in Smash! And I was losing my goddamn mind, because the amount of people that were like, Sans is gonna be in Smash, oh my, I, I can't believe they're gonna put Sans, like, this is like one of the original, like, leaks from way, way, way back when, like, Smash Ultimate was announced. And seeing Sans in Smash as a goddamn Mii fighter, I was losing my goddamn mind, because it's sort of like a monkey's paw situation, which was the tweet I made. Or... You guys got what you wish for if you're a Smash player. Sans is in Smash. And then another finger curls of the monkey's paws. Like, he's in Smash, but he's a goddamn me fighter. It still looks pretty cool, and I think it's amazing. It's just cool in general, but, um... Definitely not what people were expecting. What the fuck are you? Ancient Clock Tower. You look like a... Skittle. Little face here. 15 damage. Anyway, that was the, the Smash announcement. Oh, wait, hang on. Two strength every three turns. Every time you play 8 cards, lose 60 strength this turn. Keep that in mind as we design this rhyme to explain in due time. Okay. 
Yeah. So Nintendo Direct was great. I went to the gym an hour before and I ran two miles. It was great. It was a good Thursday. And then I played Minecraft and, you know, mm, talk about Minecraft more, Tim. It's like, I mean, I can, but like, playing Minecraft is just fun. Like, leave me alone. Nobody bully me. It's a good time, all right? Nobody's also bullying me about Minecraft, by the way. A part of me wants to, like, just, like, have a chill stream one day and just, like, have it on in the background, but just kind of whatever. Minecraft's fun. I made a cool house, and by that I mean I copied a cool house build that I found on YouTube. And I'm like, haha, look what I made. I pulled out the stencil machine and stenciled. It still looks cool, so nobody can at me for it. Uh, that's a good time. Yeah. Like, between, like, how much Minecraft I'm playing, which is actually surprisingly a lot, and, like, you know, WoW Classic that I want to play, but, like, Borderlands around the corner, and then Legend of Bumble got announced. There's, like, a lot of games flying around the table, and I'm still working a full-time job, and I'm just like, ah, shit. I want to play more video games. Can I be a kid again? I don't, I don't really aim me to go back to being a child, because as much as, like, not having to worry about anything in the world is nice, even though, like, hey, if your parents don't have a job, then you don't get to have fun. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, being an adult is pretty cool, you know, making money is cool going places that you couldn't go when you were a kid. Pretty cool. There's a lot of good things about being an adult. Taxes kind of suck, and like, taxes on everything you ever want to do also kind of suck, but hey, I'll take it any day of the week. College debt, that shit sucks. And college also sucks, because it's a fucking flawed goddamn system in America, but whatever. Okay. So get me an electrodynamic into one of these uh, dual cast things. Alright. Let's do one of these blocks, and they're rip and tear. Uh, we've nearly killed you, which is not ideal, but if we can kill them both quickly here, that'd be great. You should be defending your friend. The fact that you're not means you're a bad friend. That's right, I called him out. He's a bad friend. Go ahead and get me a go for the eyes to reduce that damage further, and then we'll just whip out a charge battery, and then, hey, bada bing, bada boom. I forgot I had dead branch. It's great. He's gonna start going for his fury swipes now, but he's already dead, so it doesn't even matter. We're in high spirits today. Auto shields, absolutely. Thank you for the high quality block. Cross arm block, that's also high quality block. We accept. In fact, that we accept and we upgrade. This is not a we take those moments. It's like we, thank you. Yes. Yes. All right, uh, yeah, we got these two of these boys here. And, you know, the Mind Blast doing 18 damage. It's pretty shitty. I don't know what I'm talking like I'm some sort of Brooklyn gangster or something. Okay. Um, Electrodynamics is always a good grab. Tempest following is good. I'll take the damage from Decay to make this happen, because that's that's some good damage right there. Like, yeah, we, we fucked. Uh, cool. So we'll do a one little rip and tear, exactly what we needed, and just close our eyes and let the game do the rest. This is a good run, this is a good video, you know what, I'll take it. This is a very entertaining piece for myself. I've always mentioned some of like the best uh, spire that you can ever get out of me is when I'm really not even focusing on the game I'm just sort of playing it and talking about other things. We've hit it. We've hit, and we haven't hit one of these strides in a minute, but for this video at the very least, we've hit it. It's gonna devolve in like nothing else but the game to like the third floor, but it, we've, we hit the stride at some point and I'm happy about it. Something like that. Cool. Yeah, I need all tap here. What do my friends want to play? What do my friends want to play? Oh, this is nasty. Okay. No damage. We're doing nine back to him. I like it. I'm, I, I'm all tapping to check. I'm waiting for someone to say Secret Neighbor. I'll be like, hell yeah, let's go. Uh. Like me and my friends played Secret Neighbor all for like maybe two days and like everyone hates it. And I understand why, because it's actually not that good, but I, I kind of like the games that have that charm of like, hey, this game is kind of shit and I see what they're going for, but it's still kind of shit, because I'm like, yeah, no, that's, that's cool. Uh, search Engine, discard a random card, put three, discard a card, put three random cards from the same cost into your drop pile. Sure. This costs three. I didn't get anything out of this. I feel robbed. I can't play any of these. Hang on. This was a poor decision, Tim. You made a poor decision today. Alright, can we just, uh, end this guy's career, please? No, no, not quite. We're getting there. I'm just grateful we're able to get enough block here. So he's dead. We're not gonna take any more damage. I'm sitting comfy still. Thanks to the speed. Another block. We like that. I'm going to actually just rest here. I'm ensuring that we don't lose. This is not the correct play. We could have squeezed out another upgrade there. But lose the bronze atomic on it. Lose the bronze atomic on. But let's let's just try and not make that happen. And you know, uh, let's be good. 
Mm, be good, be good, be good. Okay, so not a great opener, I'll admit. I'm gonna go ahead and drink this here, because the uh, cheeky bits of damage I can get out of it's gonna be pretty important. Electrodynamics is very important in this case, and a double stack. Pretty good. I could have chugged this potion to ensure I take no damage. I don't think we're gonna find ourselves in that type of situation. There's still plenty of time to, uh, you can keep it. To do it, but yeah, we're, we're not in like any danger here. So you go for a compressor, blah, 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 lightning, block it, block it, twist it, pull it. Remember the good old days of playing with a bop it? They don't even play with a bop it growing up, let me tell you something. Um, your parents loved you. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, no, they did though. Because uh, they probably loved you regardless. Bop it's the kind of game you give to your your child. Like it doesn't matter. Like if they're under the age of like ten, you can give a child bop it, and they'll be like, "This is the greatest thing ever." It's like excellent. My child will now fuck off for X amount of hours, and I will not have to do anything to entertain them. That's the point of bop it. Like if you actually like bop it as a child growing up, that's fine. But just know, like your parents are pulling the veil over your eyes there. Like you thought you were getting a sweet toy. It, Hasbro was just saving them from you for like a few minutes. It's pretty good. So good on you, Hasbro. This is the damage we're looking for. More turns like that, please. We can get some strength in here that'll actually amp it up further. But as being said, Bop at Extreme, now that's where the action's at. You get Bop at Extreme, it's time to duel, dude. If you were the kid that whipped out the Bop it during, a uh, you know, elementary school lunch recess, first off, where'd you put it? Because, like, you can't have a backpack at lunch recess because apparently, like, the staff thought you were going to, like, you know, either deal drugs or sell candy, you know? You know, to be honest, the selling candy things still happen anyway, so whatever. Just let me do the drugs, I guess. Kidding. But yeah, if you somehow start, start to bop it out to recess, dude, good on you. Good on you. Elementary school is a different kind of beast altogether, because they had, like, weird sports such as, like, you know, fucking tetherball, which is a dumb sport. Physical activity, don't let your kids touch the tetherball, because it's, it's a biased game, and if you don't know how to play the game, like, you're just fucked, and it doesn't even matter. It's a stupid fucking game. Go play Foursquare, though. That shit's awesome. Illegal Foursquare, not like, you know, boring Foursquare. If you played by the rules, or if you played by the rules in uh, elementary school when you played Foursquare, I'm sorry. You're playing a very boring game. If you ain't cherry bombing the Son of Gun in D, I'm sorry, dude. You're not playing right. You get you get your friends, like, you know, duo or trio up in the Foursquare, A, B, C, or A, B, become the king. You know, pass the ball to your friend. He passes back to you. Just hit the, the dweeb in the D spot. Hit him with the cherry bomb. Send him to the back of the line. You run that court. You run that court until the teacher comes over and then he cherry bombs you. It's like, ah, shit. And you're like, oh, Mr. Low, you can't cherry bomb. He's like, that's what you did. I'm like, ah, oh, shit. He's right. Ah. Oh. And everyone's celebrating as the king has died and you're like, oh, man, my pride. Dude, I love Foursquare. <laughs> Foursquare is my shit as a child. Tetherball, miss me that shit. You can, like, you literally, like, make the Drake meme with me for, like, Foursquare and Tetherball right now. Okay, if it's a little loud, there's a jet flying by, I think. Oh, that was quick. That was actually really quick. Jets normally make a lot more noise and they stick around a lot longer. Hmm. If I had been watching more of like these uh, bedtime story YouTube videos that I found on the internet, I'd be paranoid. By the way, bedtime stories? Good YouTube channel if you want to like creep yourself out. It's a, it's essentially like a... Let me explain. It's, it's just like, you know, it's like goosebumps where we're like... Maybe adults? I don't know. It's basically like, uh, ghostly sightings, like American myths, like, you know, m weird things that have happened in the world without an explanation. Um, I got linked to it mostly because of the game that came out, Man of Medan, which is apparently about the ship, the Oring Medan. There's an actual story behind the Oring Medan, and that's how I found this guy's channel. I'm like, yo, this is some good shit. Like, yeah, absolutely. Well, my, fr my friend Gabe is telling me about his latest fire run. He says... I had Brimstone, Double Whirlwind, and gave and cards that gave me plus energy. I died because I was too greedy and had the power that deals one health for one card. Oof. God bless. My friend's going through Ascension mode. He dug too greedily, dude. Wait a minute. Mirror Tunnel. You travel through a gleaming tunnel, the walls made of pristine glass. Thousands of your own reflection appear on the many surfaces. Something grabs your attention as you traverse further. Cards crowd out of the glass, not just from the crevices, but e even straight out of them. As you are about to take one for yourself, you start to have a headache, dude. Sure, duplicate. Thunderstrike. <sighs> duplicate, Thunderstrike, and you can become confused. Wait a minute. Triple all cards in your deck. Let's go. 87 cards. 
Hell yeah, Strawberry Spire. Let's fucking go. Ooh, Mind Blast. Oh my god. I'm a fucking genius. Hell yeah, dude. This is the miss a misplay right there, but this is a galaxy brain for the century. Oh my god, this is an A plus video. I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm sitting here thinking about Thunderstrike. I'm like, wait a minute, I forgot about the other amazing card I had. If I had upgraded it, it clearly would have been much better. But like you really can't complain here. I'm not gonna take any more cards. I don't need any more cards. If you think I need more cards, doors over there. Um Fuck it, I'll do it. I ain't afraid. See, because I have Mind Blast. How can you be afraid when you have the power of your goddamn mind? You got a bonfire dress, and that's a bonfire dress because reading is still hard. If you not play the same type of card twice in a row, okay. Game one dexterity. It's going to be a little hard right now given the current lineup, but you know. Okay. Keep it going. My friends, want this, I'm, I'm seeing some games listed off in my chat. I'm excited. Lose all gold? Nah, dude. Nah, you think I'm gonna lose this gold? You miss me with that. Dude, I'm taking them all on. These elites do not scare me. Oh, he's got a big head. Uh, it's big head lord. Uh, what do you do? I hit him with a dual cast. You blast him twice for 149. He hasn't even gotten up off the ground, nor will he ever get off the ground. And he just... You just ice him, dude. He's not even playing video games. He's just laying there. Oh, 13 damage. Oh, well, okay. I mean, I have no attack, so, like, you know, talk shit, get hit situation here. Just kidding. He's dead. Yo. Blessed be, dude. Blessed be. Focal laser. Deals 4 damage, increases card's damage by 7x times this combat. I'll just take it because I can. Um, I'm going to rest and I'm going to upgrade my Mind Blast now, because if I can play three of those in a turn, well, yeah, again, two, I'm going to play three of those in a turn. Okay, this is the kind of guy you don't want to be messing around with, though. This ain't your mama's, you know, transient fight. We can use this and fish out... Wrong card. I was trying to fish out a, a go for the eyes. Alright, 40, uh, and he's just gonna grab this, and, uh, oh, look at that, he got no damage. Yeah, we're on autopilot right now. I can't lose unless I'm, like, just negligent. Or if you just draw really bad. Excuse me. Um... A part of me was concerned for some reason. Uh, you know, let's be humble. We can be a humble god. I did not need to play that card is what the, uh... The game's telling me right there. Okay, I uh, cannot play Thundus Strike, so I will just fish out the Mind Blast for one, and we will play Mind Blast for one. He's got one more turn of life in him. 70. Done. Alright, and we're out of there, dude. Got him down to half. The one event has really blown this thing out of the water. Recursion's cool and all, but like, what about Jesus? We'll skip on that. We'll grab a buffer just because it's pretty cool. I'm not even fighting someone that matters, so we'll grab it. Sure, give me a curse. Tiny steamboat. Welcome aboard. So on this turn, I believe the play is Mind Blast into Mind Blast into... We can't kill them all outright, but that's fine. So let me fish out one more Mind Blast. You're gonna love it. Oh, I didn't get it. Also, I did that in the wrong order. The Bedoyans are going off like crazy, so, like, you know. Apologies, but I have to, I'm double checking. Like, my friends want to play games, it's a... It's a solemn moment in my heart. They want to play games. They never want to play games. Not not the entire weekend, but all of a sudden, Thursday? Hell yeah. And I'll, you know, I'll take that Thursday. Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Package? Um, remove up to three cards in your draw pile. Next turn, add a copy of each of the cards. Ooh, that's... My head's starting to hurt here, so I'm not going to think too hard on that one. We got so much money. But we don't really... We don't care, so... Yeah. We don't care about money. We just want more Mind Blast. So that's why we're going to this fireplace. Sure, you want to start me off with uh, one of them Electrodynamic things? That's pretty cool. What are you going to upgrade? You already know it. Skirt, skirt, skirt. Mind Blast. If we had done this sooner, we would, oh man, we'd be so broken. So we're gonna upgrade the last mind blast because it is the correct play. I'm sorry. 
sure. Still pretty good, not gonna lie. Okay, tentacle. This guy actually might get the jump on me, so we have to be careful here. Okay. Not Glacier, yeah, why not? The audacity of the lad. You can heal, and this is overkill, and he knows it, but he's going in. Deep in that paint. Drink it. Drink it. Grab, grab me that, and, uh... Remember that. Yeah. I mean, if it nearly kills him, that's that's just the correct play. <laughs> ah, company, yep. And then he's gonna say, foolish, and I'm like, yes, you are. Okay, he's actually gonna get his heal off, which is a little annoying, but whatever. Alright, so next turn's gonna be very bad, but that's, that's fine. Not well, fine when your turn's like that, so we'll just chug that down. Minimal damage taken. Not even sweating. You better watch yourself, mister. I draw a singular go for the eyes. Your damage has been debuffed to no ends. And I will draw a single finger cannon. And your defenses will fall. Like when you had the barbarians at the gate. Okay, that's a little weaker, Tim. You didn't really parse that one out in your brain. Could have parsed it out a little bit better. Let's just be real. But this is still good. We draw the uh, lightning strike. He's dead. Yeah, Tony Owen, I'll take it to the face. Okay, we're not going to take it to the face, is the thing. We're gonna hide behind our blocks. And then we ice him. Ice him on the cake, bada boom. Bada boom, he's still dead. Hey! 36 36, pretty cool. Thanks for watching. This was great. Jesus Christ, the Bedoings. Alright, I'm gonna get out of here. We didn't speedrun this, but 36 minutes for a video. I haven't done that in a minute. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy the rest of your week. Tomorrow's Friday. We'll see you tomorrow for our next one. Take it easy, everybody.